and you know it's here. Halloween ends. The book end of the David Gordon Green trilogy was an amazing film. We're going to talk about it today. I finally got a chance, like I said, to check it out. I'm going to be watching it again on Peacock and stuff, checking it out again. But just came back, you know, like I said, from the movies and let's digest this, like I said. But in terms of, like, right off the bat, is this a good Halloween film? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Like, But we're going to get into the positives, the negatives, the rating, and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. Halloween Ends is the ending to the David Gordon Green trilogy. We had Halloween 2018, bringing back Michael and Jamie Lee Curtis again. Then we had Halloween Kills, and now we have Halloween Ends. And let's get right into, like I said, the positives right away. And one of my main positives, like I said, this isn't, I would classify like right off the bat, like I said, this isn't a good Halloween film. But there are some things to take away from this movie. And like I said, let's get into the positives. And I think some of the performances are actually really good. This is some of the best acting that I've seen from Jamie Lee Curtis inside of this franchise. She really does a great job in this movie. Give it up to Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode. Another thing is our new character playing Corey Cunningham. I think, you know, for being a man who's coming into a franchise and you're coming into a trilogy and you no one's heard your name, no one fucking even knows who you are and you're bringing them into the third film and asking them to basically be the main star of this movie, I think he does a pretty good job in terms of acting, performance. There's nothing wrong with his performance. I think his acting is very top-notch. Kills... Uh, there's a couple good kills, like two really good surprising kills that I actually quite liked in this film. But let's get into the mixed and negatives, because yes, I'm definitely going to fall into the camp of people that, what the fuck were you doing? What did you decide to do with Halloween Ends? And I know this is going to be easily one of the most divisive Halloween films in the franchise. We already have Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, and we have Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, and... This is going to be right up there in terms of films that's very divisive and fans are either going to really hate it or they're just going to really love it. And I think over time, over years, this film will gain a cult following because there's some things to really like about this film. Like I said in my positive, I just really wish they would have went a different route with the story. Like there's some things I can't talk about in terms of spoilers because this is going to be a non-spoiler review all the way through. We're going to be talking spoilers in another video coming up, so don't worry about that. But yes, I wish they would have went a different route with the story. And that kind of falls into mixed and negatives in terms of the story. Why did you go this route? I'm like, you had Jamie Lee Curtis back, and this is Halloween Ends, and this is 40 years culminating from 1978, John Carpenter's Halloween, all the way to 2022, where we are at today. And this is what you decided to do? Like, I just... I feel like they really missed and dropped the ball in terms of when you're watching this film, you can tell the creators they had no fucking idea. If any of the creators came out in an interview or came out and told people, oh, we knew what we wanted to do the whole time since Halloween 2018, I'm going to straight up go up to them and call them a bold-faced liar because as I'm watching Halloween ends, you can clearly tell they had no fucking clue what they were going to do with this franchise when they started Halloween 2018. They had no idea how they were going to bookend it. And you can clearly tell. Is My main thing, what I went into this movie with, was I didn't go in with high expectations. What I wanted was a clear bookend to this trilogy. And does it deliver that? No, it does not. This film does not deliver a clear end bookend tr to this trilogy at all. One other major negative I have with this movie is there's just really no atmosphere at no time. Like when I'm watching Halloween 2018 or Halloween 1978 or Halloween 2, like I feel the music, I feel the vibe, I feel the atmosphere. And this film doesn't have any of that. Like I said, it has good performances and good characters inside of it and maybe like a good story, maybe a nugget. But they don't take it in a good direction and like I said, no atmosphere. So that really takes me out of this movie. There are certain things that I would have much rather appreciated and loved from this film. Do they take chances? 
do they take risks? Yes, they do. The creators, writers, directors, they take risks with this movie. Does it pay off? I'm going to tell you no. It does not pay off in my, in my opinion. It did not. So for me, this film, they did highly drop the ball because Kills, it's very just, it's lackluster. That's one word. If I was to describe this film in one word, it's lackluster. It was a Halloween film that I didn't walk away from and I was like, oh, I freaking hate this movie. That's disgusting. I can't believe they did that. Like, no, it's just, it's lackluster. There were some good things in this movie, but it's just a film that I can't believe that it really did happen because it's, I know people are going to come out and they're going to say, we really love this from this movie. And this is one of those movies that it's going to gain a cult following and people are going to be like, can't you appreciate what they were trying to do? And I'm just going to be like, this is really what you wanted to do with the last movie that you're possibly going to get Jamie Lee Curtis to come back as, as Laurie Strode and to have her and Michael Myers in it. And like just the stuff that goes down and the way they execute it. I just think this film fell flat. I know I'm just, I'm like I said, I have to watch it again. I'm going to watch it a second time before I do my spoiler chat and my spoiler review and kind of going more in depth into every plot point and every part of this movie Right now, as it stands, yeah, I feel like this is just a very lackluster sequel. Like I said, I didn't walk away hating this movie, but I just didn't walk away thinking, oh, they enriched anything or they did something amazing with the franchise. In terms of the rating, Halloween Ends is going to get a 5 out of 10 for me. This is a very mediocre film. I think it, right now, as it stands right now, I think for me, this is the least, my least favorite out of the franchise, of the, well, the three that just recently came out in terms of 2018 and kills and ends. I think this might be my least favorite one. But like I said, there's still some really good things to love about this movie. And one of the things is the performances, the acting, I think is top notch and they do a great job. Is the story that great? Is the dialogue that great? I'm going to go no. And like I said, the direction they take with the story, I just don't understand. I'm a little confused why they decided to go this route. Do I think it's the worst Halloween film? No. I already recently, if you've been following me on Twitter, I've recently been binging all the Halloween films over the last like week or so. And yes, I don't think this is the worst Halloween film. I don't think that at all. But it's the worst out of the most recent ones we got. I think so, for real. I liked Halloween 2018 is my favorite. Halloween Kills was second to that, and I think, yeah, Halloween Kills is better than this movie. But I'm going to give this movie another shot. I'm going to watch it on Peacock, give it another watch and digest it, and really kind of take notes for my spoiler review. That way we can talk more in depth about the film. And like I said, this is just my opinion, my thoughts, and I would love to hear from all of you in the comment section. If you've seen this movie, let me know what you think of Halloween Ends, and be sure, be careful. Don't spoil anything in the comments just in case anybody hasn't seen the movie. But as I said, I would still love to hear from all of you. What are your general feelings and thoughts on this movie? And where does it land in terms of your ranking? At right now, I would say I would say this is probably like at number 9 or number 10. Like in that area of like terms of ranking in the Halloween franchise. It's in that number 9, number 10 area. It's right around that area So for me. So yeah, we'll... We'll see. We're going to give it a second watch, see how it feels on that second digestion of the film. But yeah, as it stands right now, I feel like one word to describe this film is very lackluster. Like I said, it's a 5 out of 10 for me. It's not horrible, not god-awful. It's just a mediocre film. And one film that I think is just not a good Halloween film. It's not a horrible movie. It's a, it's a pretty decent movie. It's just a very bad Halloween movie. And you'll kind of get that point when you check it out. Just in case, you if you haven't seen it yet, you'll get more of my understanding probably when you check out the film. Thanks for sticking around with me all for this review of Halloween Ends. And of course, like and subscribe so you get more videos like this because you want to be checking this out. And stay tuned to the channel because like I said... We're going to be talking spoilers and get more in-depth about this movie, of course, over the next week or so. But most importantly, have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.